Kia ora, Cole Cherie Kinnear, and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Queen Elizabeth has taken her final journey through Edinburgh. Her Majesty's coffin has arrived at St Giles Cathedral in a procession followed on foot by the King and Royal Family. The Crown of Scotland has been rested atop the coffin and the Queen will remain in the cathedral to be visited for 24 hours. Tomorrow, Her Majesty will journey on a Royal Air Force flight to London to lie in state at Westminster Hall until the funeral on Monday. In his first address as monarch to MPs and peers in Parliament, King Charles says the Queen pledged to serve her country and people when very young. Her late Majesty pledged herself to serve her country and her people and to maintain the precious principles of constitutional government which lie at the heart of our nation. This vow she kept with unsurpassed devotion. She set an example of selfless duty, which, with God's help and your counsels, I am resolved faithfully to follow. The Governor-General's are leaving for the UK today, followed by the Prime Minister tomorrow. Meanwhile, Aotearoa will mark Queen Elizabeth's death on Monday, September 26, including a state memorial service at Wellington's Cathedral of St Paul. The upcoming public holiday is expected to cost New Zealand businesses about $450 million, according to the Employers and Manufacturers Association. And it's also posing challenges for the healthcare system. Dunedin Hospital oncologist Chris Jackson says outpatient appointments, operations and scans are planned months in advance. Elsewhere, a significant step in our COVID response. The traffic light system ended at midnight and sees all mask wearing requirements removed except for in healthcare and aged care facilities. Household contacts will no longer be required to isolate for seven days and all vaccination requirements for incoming travellers and air crew will be dropped. Support workers and carers are breathing a sigh of relief. New Zealand Health Group CEO Josephine Gagan says the fact household contacts will no longer need to isolate will alleviate a lot of pressure to cover last minute shifts. You can imagine someone suddenly finds out they're a household contact and then they can't go to work. So it really will help with our staffing challenges. In Arahui's in place near Kaikoura, as friends and families continue grieving loved ones lost in a shock charter boat accident. Te Ruananga o Kaikoura has placed the Rahui from Paya Point to Omehi campground and 500 metres from the shore for two weeks. Kaikoura District Council Mayor Craig Mackle says his small community is tight-knit and the tragic event is felt deeply by everyone. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.